Hello viewers, proper education stands to be a firm foundation. Today, Gasa Media takes you down into the elementary classroom to get to understand some of the effective techniques teachers use to aid students craft concepts effectively. Ensuring effective learning, which is a method of teaching and learning that actively involves learners in their own personal development, has a lot to consider, especially with the use of didactic materials. Name some set of things that you are seeing. Name some, some set of things that you are seeing. Bah, bah. I don't want to hear bath. I want to hear a set of baths. I don't want to hear bath. A set of baths. Yes, a set of baths. A set of baths. Good. A set of baths. What again? A set of dusters. Oh, you are wonderful. A set of dusters. What again? Didactic materials here on refer to a variety of educational resources and tools that are subject specific in nature used as learning aids. Didactic materials are what facilitate the teaching and the learning process in the classroom. Uh, I'm called Chiankun Po Amin, I'm a teacher of Standard Nezu and Kamaru School Bumaka. Didactic materials, these are just tools that we help the learner to achieve what they are doing. The advantages that come with the use of these materials are enormous as recounted. Benjamin the head teacher of the Bumaka, the head teacher of the last 18 years in this school, the teacher of the last 28 years. Yes, the important of directing materials to the people is very important. One, it facilitates learning because the children learn more by doing. When you see those things, it remains in them. It is a kind of color in the teaching learning. As you touch and feel, it remains in them. They may keep it in them for the next 20, 30 years. When you present the data materials, the children are called, they have the attention, they know what you are going to teach. In so doing, they take part in the lesson easily. Okay. For example, if you are to teach care of the mouth, you bring your data materials in class like salt, toothpaste, toothbrush, water. Immediately you put it on the table, you start hearing more. With that, you don't have strength. They will even tell you when you present yours, you ask them, is something missing? They will tell you the rest of the things. And when you ask, what are we learning today? They will just give you the topic of the day. But that is very important, especially at this level, because at this level, you mo they must see what they are learning. They don't need their lectures. The lectures is not actually going. They see, they have to see, I even touch to actually uh, know what they are learning. Some teachers are, however, of the school of thought that the use of didactic materials made from locally made goods are preferable for reasons as recounted. The teaching materials from didactic materials from salvage materials, it goes a long way to help the teacher first. The availability, it is available because the things are found either from Tom Heap or in the quarter or on your way to school or your way from school. It is, secondly, it is cheap. It is cheaper because you want to go and buy things. You get those things, you can use them the way you want to make them, the way you want to design them. You should do for your own good and for the good of the children that are in your class. And it makes you to be creative too. And it makes you creative. And that's creativity you are putting in the heart of the children, in the minds of the children. Yeah, this, uh, the advantages are so many because it also helps to reduce waste in our environment to produce valuable goods. From there, you see a child will pick cartoons and then try to form it, which from there you see the, the IQ of the child. Drawing of charts is expensive. But when used like cartoons, 
Papers, containers to make your dilating material. It is cheaper because you don't buy them. You don't ask money from parents that please they should cheap in one one hundred francs or twenty five who want to buy this and do this. If the child can't learn the way you teach, then teach the way they will learn. Chris Coffee Mokusa reporting for Gasa Media.